The final race of DTM 2023, a record-breaking crowd of over 88,000 people attending Hockenheim. But in qualifying on Sunday morning, the job done. Thomas Pronning getting pole position by just six thousandths of a second. With it, three points. And with that, the guarantee of the championship title. Mirko Bortolotti is long-time season rival, starting second on the grid with Luca Stoltz third and just about fending off the close attentions of last year's champion, Sheldon van der Linde, who started fourth in the red and yellow Schubert BMW. Lauren Heinrich running in fifth place, and just behind him in sixth place, the fast-improving Thierry Vermeulen in the Emile Frey Racing Ferrari. René Rast, the three-time champion, with a lot of work to do from 23rd on the grid after failing to get a lap out of traffic in the qualifying session. Around the outside of Lucas Stoltz through the Parabolica went Sheldon van der Linde to move himself up to third. That brought him into the lead battle. A bit of contact between the front of the Lamborghini of Bortolotti and the rear end of Prining's Porsche. Prining, after winning the Saturday race, carrying 20 kilograms of success ballast. That would make him susceptible into the corners under braking and also coming out of the corners with more weight to carry. So the Porsche just ahead of the Lamborghini and both of them just ahead of the BMW. A fantastic battle ensued at the head of the field. But then there was some big drama on the run down into the hairpin from a bit further back. Coming together, under braking into that zone. The Lamborghini of Christian Engelhardt, the BMW of Marco Wittmann. Engelhardt sent into the barriers and out of the race after an excellent podium finish on Saturday. So the safety car was deployed. A replay showing that Marco Wittmann tried to switch to the inside line. The Lamborghini trying to close the door. The pair of them coming together and the Lamborghini of Engelhardt coming off worst. Out of the race at the end of the season. Wittmann able to continue on. The two-time champion though did have some pretty severe damage to the front left corner of his Project One BMW. So a short respite under the safety car and then the race about to get back up to full speed. It didn't really make any difference at the front of the field because the top three were still bunched together. But it was helpful for Rennie Rast who already made a good start uh, from 23rd on the grid. The blue BMW was now up to 11th place. Everybody is queued up right in front of him. Into the pit stop window then and for the final time of the season the Manti EMA team changing the wheels and tyres on Thomas Prining's car. They've already wrapped up the team championship on Saturday, now the drivers championship and out he went as the leading pit stopper with an increased advantage over Mirko Bortolotti who'd already made his pit stop. So Prining looking good for a win despite the fact he was carrying the success ballast. No driver this season has won both races across the course of a weekend and his fans supporting the Grello 91 car were delighted. But what about Rennie Rast? He was one of the later pit stoppers and managed to come out in front of Thomas Prining. But on cold tyres, could he keep the BMW ahead of the Porsche? It would be tough going even for Rene Rast. But Rast, even to be involved in this battle, a miracle from where he started on the grid. Priding with his tyres up to temperature, easily able to draw alongside Rene Rast. But that didn't mean that Rene was going to make life easy for the Austrian driver. They went side by side, flat out through the Barabolica and up to 265 kilometres an hour before dropping down to just 50 kilometres an hour. And up the inside went Priding. And then Bortolotti tried to follow suit and he nipped ahead as well in the Lamborghini. Rene Rast tucking back in behind in third place as he continued to try to get his tyres up to temperature. He now had to deal with Marrow Engel, who was having a much better Sunday than Saturday. So Engel then drew alongside, better traction coming out of the next corner, found the inside line, and at the mobile one curver, Engel was through into a net third place. The Lamborghini of Franck Pereira was a late pit stop on cold tyres. He was coming under fire. Thierry Vermeulen up the inside of him, but he couldn't slow the car down in time. The Ferrari going into Mattia Drudi's Audi and spinning the Italian around, dropping him right down the order. Vermeulen would get three penalty laps for that move later on. So two minutes to go in the race. Mirko Bortolotti determined to try and win the final race of 2023, but he tried a bit too hard coming out of the sud curver all over the kerbs, all over the grass. And as they started the final lap of the race, that surely would guarantee a third victory of the season to Thomas Prining. There was still drama to come, though. Half a lap to go. Maro Engel struggling with a handling issue. Rene Rast going for a podium finish and coming out of the hairpin with half a lap to go. Rast went through. He was on course for his 50th podium in the DTM and all the way from 23rd on the grid. And Sheldon van der Linde was going to try and pounce as well. 
nothing Marrow Engel could do about it. But at the head of the field, Thomas Prining coming through to become the first ever Austrian DTM champion. Here we go, here we go, Shorshi. That's another win. Very good job, very good job. The perfect weekend for Thomas Prining. Two pole positions, two race victories, one championship title. The crowd gave him a standing ovation as the drivers celebrated with donuts in front of the grandstand. Thomas Priney, the 2023 DTM champion. Well done.